this is my on the trail gear review of the Olight H1R rechargeable headlamp um, when it come from Amazon it come with the headband the recharging cable the light a rechargeable battery and also a lithium battery that's not rechargeable um, I'm out on the Toy Trace Trail I'm a few miles uh, from Cave Run Lake and I've been hiking for 12 days I have used this every night in camp for 30 minutes to an hour and on four separate nights I night hiked anywhere from two hours to 11 hours um, I've only had to recharge this twice and if I remember correctly it's around a 590 milliamp hour rechargeable battery um, one night after I don't know it was like day six or something and it was also after the long night hike so I was doing another night hike that was maybe an hour or two long and the rechargeable battery finally died but I simply popped in the lithium battery until I got to camp and then I charged the rechargeable battery and swapped them back out again so this thing has been absolutely amazing um, on its lowest setting I've night hiked every time it has a rated um, capacity of 50 hours on its lowest setting the lowest setting if you take the headlamp and kind of twist it down so that you're only shining in front of your feet it did great to illuminate the trail I didn't have any problems with tripping over roots or rocks or anything like that so I could clearly see where I was going and then in very difficult places where maybe the trail was overgrown I would bump it up to the medium setting for maybe a short you know two minute interval or something like that and then I dial it back down to the lowest setting once I got past that section so the thing about headlamps is if you hike a lot you know that the batteries eventually go dead and they always go dead when you need them the most um, a lot of people will carry spare batteries which isn't a big deal but there might be times when you get stuck uh, maybe you didn't get as many miles or the next camp is seven or eight miles away and it's getting dark and this headlamp really comes in handy because it is so efficient with the battery and it's rechargeable via via a you know usb battery pack that you would use a charge like your phone with so i really think this is probably one of the handiest pieces of gear that i've bought this year and i've bought a lot of stuff including the z-pax hexamid solo plus um thermarest neo air small you know i bought a lot of gear um this truly is the one that I'm going to buy several more of just so I can keep one maybe in my car, my truck, in my ATV and uh, always have one available. I'm, I'm literally sold on this light now. You know, I was kind of unsure about going with a rechargeable light. I thought about doing it last year and didn't. And this thing is also pretty light. I'll put the full specs up because I don't know them off the top of my head. But I'll put the specs up and uh, you really should get this light and give it a try i'll put a link down in the description to the amazon page for this light and i can assure you you will not be disappointed one thing i can remember it has either three or four settings and the usage obviously decreases with each one but the lowest setting is 50 hours and then the highest setting i can't remember the runtime, but it's 600 lumens that's an ungodly amount of light in a little small light like this. It also comes with a clip. You can take it off the headband and like clip it onto like a shoulder strap or something like that. If you don't like to wear headbands. So I just really think that for the cost, it's, it's well worth the money and you will not be disappointed. So go out and get you one of these and uh, never have to worry about carrying batteries ever again. Okay, so this is take two and hopefully we have enough juice left over. So this is the charge cable for the Olight H1R. 
Uh, one end is just a normal USB, and the other end is round magnetic that goes on to the housing of the camera. This is my anchor battery. It's the one that I used on my hike. Has not been recharged. If I press the button, you will see, hopefully. So it's down to less than 25%. What I'm hoping is that I can get this to recharge off of just that. The other thing is too, when you plug the charger in, there's a green light that shows when the battery is charged. It's also green if it's disconnected from the battery. Um, I kind of thought that was a little confusing, but as you can see, when I actually plug it in too, it turns red to show that it's charging. Charging. This is actually the clip pocket clip that goes on the battery you can take it out of the headband put this clip which snaps around it and then it creates a pocket clip so you could attach it to like a uh, shoulder strap your waistband or something like that and turn it on so you don't have to wear the headlamp and I'll just go ahead and let this charge and we'll see how long it takes So obviously the next thing to do would be to show you how the different brightness levels work um, at night time. And I just walked outside. This is after I recharged the battery on the anchor um, after the hike. And I'm kind of hoping my camera will pick this up. I know that when I was night hiking sometimes it would and sometimes it wouldn't. So as you can tell it is definitely dark. Um, you can see my house light there, but if I pan over toward the lake and the trees, you obviously cannot see any of that. Uh, just to let you know that when I hiked, night hiked with this, I kept it on low most of the time. Um, and I kept it so that the light was pointed down just a couple of feet in front of my feet. And I'm going to turn it on. And that's kind of what you get. You can kind of see that it's... Uh, Back up to where my feet are at. This is on the lowest setting, by the way. Let me cycle through this and show you. So that's low, medium, high, back down to low, then medium, then high. So we are back down to low. Um, if you're night hiking, you can kind of see. Let me do this without turning my head. It's about a, oh, I'm guessing a six or an eight foot wide path. It's about two or three feet in front of me. And if we walk, you can see that... You can clearly make out the ground. You can make out the leaves. There's going to be some rocks coming up here. Should be able to make them out. Actually, I think I passed the rocks. So, I mean, you can definitely make out uh, everything. Now, I've got the light tilted down. If I raise the light forward, you can actually start to see trees. That tree's about 25 feet away or so. Let me go ahead and bump it up a level. So, now you can see... Probably a good 25 feet. Um, you can definitely see. So I would bump it up to the next level during like really complicated parts of the trail. And I never had to do it. And when I'm saying high, medium, or low, this actually has five levels. But you have to click twice to get to the other ones. Um, if I go up to the next one, it is like super bright. Um, I don't know. Is it going to make out... Yeah, so my patio is about 30 foot wide, and you can make out all the way down to the, the barrier there. Um, now, if I double click it to get the highest, now it will light up all the way back nearly to my woods. Um, that's at 600 lumens, and it will literally light up everything. Uh, that boat is probably, uh, let's just walk it off in steps. So I'm going to take like, like you're going to, walk off how many yards something is so a pretty long step three foot one 
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's 30 foot. One, two. So that's like 36 feet that it's illuminating. You can see it's lighting up my whole entire house. Now if I go back down to the low level, you can kind of see it doesn't really light up the house, but it lights up the ground in front of you. Perfect. So again, I think this is absolutely great for night hiking. Uh, the, the width of the beam is sufficient. Um, on low beam, high beam, you've got a much wider spread. Let's see if I can just about. So this is exactly uh, 90 degrees to my right, and I'm going to start panning. Try to hold my head straight. You know, that's a... That's a 15, 20 foot wide beam on high, pointed to, toward the ground. Uh, probably at about um, somewhere between 25 and 40 degree angle off my head. And now we're back down to the lowest setting. So absolutely amazing.